Hello everybody, it's Friday, that means it's time for another topic of the week. So, first things first, last week's topic, advice for your past self. Um, lots of really, really good inspirational thoughts there. And the reality is, we can't go back in time and undo anything. None of us have a DeLorean. But, well, I mean, we might have some DeLoreans, but they probably don't have a flux capacitor in them. Uh, and why I think it's relevant is because it was really inspirational to me to listen to everybody sort of share the journey that they've went on. And I really liked hearing where people were now and how they've grown or changed or thought about their hobby or the games that they play, uh, the nature of the armies they utilize, the opponents that they, they play with, the type of atmosphere they seek out, um, the tricks that they utilize to get things painted, the time that they take in the hobby, whatever. Right? Like, as we, we sort of go through this hobby, there's lots of different ways that we end up changing. And I really liked very much seeing everybody share all of that. So I would highly recommend um, that you go back, especially if you're newer, and look in, and read through the comments and see if there's stuff in there that maybe you want to take in to your own journey. Because it, what was right for them, and maybe the advice they would have given their past self could also be right for you now. But uh, that brings us to this week's topic. And this week I want to get, we're going to do something a little fun if we can keep it civil. Oof, we'll see. This is going to be a, a, a contentious one. But I recently uh, got an idea for a show I want to do. And uh, I want to do a sort of, let's call it a Razzies, if you know what that is, but for War Scrolls in Age of Sigmar. So what I'd love people to do is comment or even make a video uh, discussing it. But pick your one, 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 pick one, just one, pick one, only one, See how many people still don't pick one. Uh, War scroll that you think is bad, in the, and drop it down in the comments. Give me like a sentence or two why you think it's no good, and that's it. And let's try. No argument yet. We'll do this in a show. Like we're gonna Tom and I are gonna do a whole sort of Razzies award show, and we're, we'll we'll debate it out. Maybe we'll make a final list before we do that. We'll have our nominations, right? And uh, from the nominees, then we can all argue it out. And we can give our feedback. But right now, we're just throwing out ideas. So please don't snipe at people in the comments if somebody says they don't like something or they think something's bad that you love. That's okay. It's just somebody else's opinion. Doesn't influence what you do with your stuff at all. Uh, I tried this with a smaller group uh, recently, and we had some really good uh, sort of things discussed, and nobody argued. So it was a really nice time. Uh, and I think there's a lot of interesting potential out here. So what are those, and then we can take it once we get the big list and we can break it into categories and stuff like that. The nominees are. Uh, so I'm, I'm interested because uh, even defining what makes a worst war scroll or a bad war scroll is somewhat fascinating. You can feel free to take whatever you want into account. In this case, we are talking about the rules, not the model. I will say that. Uh, so I don't mean like the actual model itself. It could have fantastic rules and be a terrible model or have really bad rules and be an amazing model. That's, I'm just concerned with the rules side of it here. And I just think it's interesting because there are, the game itself is pretty fluid. I think most War Scrolls you have, you know, some kind of use of in the game. There aren't that many things that I look at and go, that is total garbage, just complete top to bottom worthless. There are some. I have my own opinions, uh, but that's not what I'm interested in. I'm not, I'm not going to here to pollute the waters. Uh, for this, I'm just curious as to what you think. It can be something from your army, something you play against. It just has to be an Age of Sigmar War Scroll that you think is the worst. So give me that item, that one item, just one, 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 one. And couple sentences of why you think it is. Well, I'll aggregate all these together along with some other suggestions. Tom and I will throw some in. We'll have our little nominations and then we'll do a, a little Razzie style award show. I think it'd be fun to just highlight those those things that aren't uh, perhaps up to snuff. 
uh, as highlighting this, there's, I have a method to this madness, by the way. The reason I'm interested in doing this and, and, and pursuing this out is because I think within the world we play and a lot of stuff can be sort of good or bad based on a lot of indeterminate factors. Um, that is to say, like, a scroll can be good or at least good enough based on sort of the meta and the scenario and, you know, the rest of the army and things like that. And those aren't printed on the war scroll. Like, nowhere on the rules of that scroll are those intangibles to be found. Uh, when you then take into account things like points, you know, a, a war scroll that's terrible at 200 points could be the most amazing thing in the world at 100. Again, the rules printed on the scroll didn't change at all, right? But there are some that you look at and you go, I don't know that I'd play that for any amount of points, you know, other than just free. <laughs> right? If it was just literally free and I could put it in the army, sure, maybe. But obviously that's not how the game is played. Everything has some kind of cost. So there aren't a lot of those, but I think there are some out there. So I think it'll be interesting to see what people put on this list. And the idea would be, I would hope, that we can find those ones that are just, maybe they, they were kind of a failure to launch. And what that's going to give us is an ability to hopefully, I don't know, push for like maybe a change to those scrolls rather than just points adjustments. Are there, is anything going to happen? I don't know. That's not what I'm here for. But uh, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a prognosticator. There's no crystal ball hidden in this room anywhere. But it does seem like a cool thing to at least try to build some consensus around and talk about a little and see if maybe change doesn't happen. Um, because maybe some of these scrolls that are out there that aren't quite as good as we would hope do represent something rather cool that we would like to play with. I mean, they're all our little plastic toys, and I would like to put all of them on the table. So there you go. All right, so that's the challenge. The worst war scroll. One item. Drop it down there. A couple sentences. No argument. Don't attack other people. Be nice. This is all in good fun. Nothing more. And uh, we'll see what it comes of it. And uh, look for that show. Look for our, our Razzie-style war scroll award show. Uh, coming sometime probably in the beginning of the year. But as always, appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.